Yo! What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to break down a couple different ways that you can be making coins right now from Team Diamond sets in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Let's jump right on into it. So let's get this out of the way first. Team Diamond sets, extremely expensive. If you have any aspirations or goals to get JJ Watt and Todd Gurley done, it's going to cost you a lot and honestly, you should have been preparing for this months ago. So if you did not, and if you're no money spent, or if you don't have a lot of coins, there's other ways you can essentially participate in this promo without trying to get these cards. A lot of cards due to the Team Diamond sets have raised up in value, and hopefully you've been hanging on to stuff in your binder rather than quick selling it, specifically promo cards from like Headliners and Core Elites and a couple other things have absolutely skyrocketed in price, and it's a great opportunity to go through, check that binder and see if you happen to have any of these cards. Now, that can be overwhelming in a sense as well because there's so many cards out there. And if we just go into any one of these sets, like you can take a look, for example, here, here are the set requirements for Jimmy Graham, right? Just a bunch of random cards from teams in the NFC South. If you go to another NFC South team, we'll use the Panthers, for example, you're going to see that those set requirements are completely different. They're still NFC South players, but they're different players. And it's a really big combination of ultimate kickoff cards core elites and headliners i would say are the three main programs that are in here you got some random team of the week stuff as well some of these cards are still the same in value some of them have shot through the roof and right now you might have some of these in your binder and should be able to make a lot of coin we're going to show you a couple different ways to figure that out so uh number one we're going to head on over to mutt.gg that's where we're going to spend the majority of the rest of this video and without being a member without logging in without anything you can simply go over to the prices section which is going to be found at the top of mutt.gg and by the way let me actually go back to the homepage. you can see the price tag on some of these cards you know ruben brown is almost 900k anquan bolden's a million keith bullock which isn't one of the better cards here is 515k and i think the goal that a lot of people have here is they're building out the sets they're selling the cards and then going out and trying to build more sets with the coins that they got back from selling one of the champions and every time you complete one of those sets you get a collectible for each team you get all 32 collectibles you put them into either the jj watt or the todd Gurley set and that's how you get one of those cards also i think the majority of you that if you even have the resources to complete one of those sets right now you kind of already know what you're doing but i saw that john beast which is one of the madden pro players completed the set for todd Gurley. he tried to go sell the card and it's capped at two million coins which is tremendously undervalued on how much that probably costs to complete and that card's probably going to go for a good five six million but ea has a cap on it right now they should have proactively not had a cap on it i kind of had a feeling this is going to happen um but just know that if you are out here completing and getting one of those champions done i would not be selling that card until the cap is removed so if you go over to prices this is just generally something you should check every day to see where the market is and it gives you a sense and you can change you know what platform you're on by clicking the gear icon it gives you a sense of is the market crashing or not and as you can see it is actually going down right now which means there's going to be a lot of higher end items that you might be able to get for cheaper than they normally are and i'm going to wait to see what legends are announced for tomorrow but more than likely tomorrow we'll drop a video going over the best cards to be buying right now to upgrade your squad due to this we'll just call it a baby mini market crash it's gone down about a coin per training point which isn't a ton but another really good thing here on this page is if you just simply scroll down here is that they have a section of cards that have shot through the roof and price and i'll use the darius smith as, as a great example here look in the upper right his card on playstation has gone up 913 percent so if we go to the prices tab here you're going to see that this card was selling for peanuts basically i mean if we go down here 12k 15k basically between 10 and 20k well when team diamonds came out and they saw that this is a requirement for one of those sets i'm not sure specifically which one he is in uh he is now going for about 105,000 coins now now, there is a, another side to this that I do want to bring up, and I brought it up in my video earlier today. EA has a terrible ban detection um, when it comes to these things, and oftentimes it's all automated. So what they could see happen here is a card like Zadarius Smith 
that shot up that much in average price, uh, their system could pick it up as people trying to sell coins through that card because it was so low in price and now it's selling high. That's how people transfer coins from one account to another. I am very worried that in situations like that, people who just, you know, innocently had a Zadaria Smith and said, oh shoot, I can get 100k off of this card, let me sell it, are going to get banned tomorrow morning or after the weekend. So hopefully EA is smart about this because this happens almost every single year when cards shoot up in price just due to the market, nothing illegal legal happening uh people get banned on that so my general rule of thumb here is if a card is like over 50,000 coins more than it normally is i'm probably not going to sell it just because and it's not that you're doing anything wrong but just because i'm trying to get avoid getting banned right and, and again it's not your fault it's ea's fault but it's just something i want to throw out there uh here's another example jamar chase he's up to 220k right now 1,436% up in price. If we go to his little price meter here, you can see he was below 20K for a good part and he's shot now up to over 200,000 coins. So kind of crazy. Uh, one thing you can do is again, just go through this list and spot check cards. You can specifically look for ultimate kickoff cards in your binder core elites and uh headliners those are the three promos that are really going up campus heroes we could probably throw those in there but mutt.gg also actually has a feature called binder and basically what they do i'm not going to go through a whole tutorial on how to set this up and link your accounts i actually did that earlier in the year so those of you that were paying attention already knew about this but we're going to link that video down below in the comment section as a pinned comment so you can walk through and see all the steps that i did in that video to get this set up but long story short this tool right here on mutt.gg connects to your ea account and it pulls up your entire binder all of the cards that you own and it, and it basically gives you a snapshot of what you have and tells you the pricing on those cards and it's a way without going in game and filtering through everything to find out the true value of what you have now it is going to take a moment for this website and all of the data to catch up to the market that's just moving so rapidly right now so it's also not a bad idea to still go in and spot check these cards but i'm going to load up my account here and kind of show you what you can be doing i do also want to note that you can only refresh your binder i believe once per week now if you have mutt.gg pro you can sign up for that it's five dollars a month i think it's discounted if you purchase it for an entire year but this will allow you to refresh your binder i think every five minutes so if you're going to do this you can only do it once unless you have mutt.gg pro and if you do it today then you're going to have to wait a week again until you do it so once we're logged into our account here it pulls up every single card that i own whether it's in my lineup or it's not there's a nice little summary there towards the upper left it shows you basically like how many coins you have i have 7.4 million coins how much training 544 and then the value of my entire team and i think that factors in my team the cards that i own plus the coins that i have which is you know at 15 million right now so you can go over to the auctions tab and this is only going to show you cards that you own that are not in your lineup so these are cards that you essentially can figure out if you want to sell them or not now what i would do from here if i were you is use the program filter over to the right and i'm just going to go to core set we'll select that and hit apply filters this is now showing all of the core elite cards that i own and so for instance josh allen it's saying 35k here but i want to go ahead and just open it up just to double check and make sure that the numbers are accurate over here as well you can see that the 86 josh allen is up about 15 percent according to them and again if i go to the prices tab like we did on some of the other cards i can look and see you know did it actually go up this little chart here would say otherwise that it's actually been on average for that price because these are sorted out by overall it's also kind of easy to spot one that's probably gone up in price like as we get down to 85s you can see 11k 18k but notice this graham gano on average goes for about 63,000 coins i talked about this specific card in a video earlier today that i purchased it trying to resell it well i'm probably going to hang on to it because it goes into the troy vincent set but this is one that has gone up in price you can also kind of spot here right 84s 32k 28k 30k 
but this Buddha Baker is up to 54k. So I can already tell here just by looking at that that this is one of those cards that have gone up in price. And right now, an 84 overall Buddha Baker is up 429%, and he's up to 54k. This is one that I think I would feel comfortable selling right now. If this is going for 150k, I probably would stay away from doing that, just trying to avoid that band detection. But as you can see, he was going for about 10k, a little bit over that the week before, and now he's up to about 45k. So 30, 40k difference there. I'm feeling safe with that one. It's the really big differences where I'm getting a little bit concerned for everybody. I use the same filters over on the right and selected ultimate kickoff, and I can see right off the rip here, 85 overall Miles Sanders, 77.2k. I'm going to go to his card. He's up 319%. Again, if we go to the prices, let me just see what he was going for prior to this. Uh, he was about, what, 17, you know, right around 15 to 20k, and now he's all the way up to 80. This one, you know, I'm a little nervous about selling it. I might do it anyway. We'll see. I, I don't mean to put like fear in your hearts here, but those are the things that I just want you guys to pay attention to. And I think the other one was what? Headliners. I don't know if I have many of those in my binder, um, but we'll try to spot one here. Yep. Trayvon Walker, 58K for an 84. So this one has clearly gone up in price. You can also see the market value of just headliners cards. If I go back to core set here, and this is also going to factor in like all the random golds and stuff that I have just core cards alone i have 1.6 million coins sitting in my binder and these are all cards that are not in my lineup right now so not only can you be using this to make coins off of cards that have went way up in price due to the team diamond market rise not crash but also this is a great way to just kind of you know generally go through your binder and find some good value, whether it's skyrocketed or not. Like if I know that I have 1.6 million in here, you know, that's enough to go out and buy a couple cards that I might want to use to upgrade my team. Obviously, everybody's binder is not going to look the same as mine because I have a lot of cards sitting in there and I literally never quick sell anything unless I really, really need training. That's why our training amount is so low. But overall, the point of this video is to let you guys know about mutt.gg and a couple different tools that you can use right now to find value in your binder, whether it's through the binder sync or the prices tab that shows you the daily risers and just keep checking that every single day other cards could become rare and then go back up in price so maybe only sell the ones that have shot up in price and the ones that are still kind of sitting there hang on to those and see if they become rare eventually and maybe go up in price and of course you can always look into maybe completing the sets if you have a good amount of cards within those sets like it's going to be hard for me to show you a good example because i just have a bunch of cards scattered around but if you're cycling through the sets and you get to you know eh, the Panthers. The Julius Peppers card looks pretty good. Uh, you see you have 10 of 25 cards already needed. It might be worth it to start breaking down the math there to go complete the set and sell the card and maybe make some profit in the long run there. And, you know, you never know. You could end up maybe getting Todd Gurley or J.J. Watt months down the road. Uh, it's not going to be worth as much at the time, but we're still probably two months away from 96 OVR cards. So for me, this is something, yeah, maybe I might try to get done eventually. I'm in zero rush to do it. Uh, but as we kind of go through the motions here and with zero chill up coming, a lot of cards hopefully with presents packs are going to be in circulation it might be a way to get these done in the long run but for now make coins off of those cards that are way up in price so we're going to get out of here hopefully this video helped you out thank you for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace